Hi there all. It's the day after after the half hour discharge on the zinc carbon cell. Um, this morning I found it at 1.2 volts and on a short circuit it had 40 something milliamps left in it. I was able to run the load which dropped the voltage down to 0 0.44 and um, we're approaching now a two hour charge on five volts. I couldn't see any signs of damage this morning on the cells, so I thought I'd increase the charge time to sort of speed that up a bit. And the milliamps are sort of down a little bit compared to last time. I think it was 300. Alright, I'll get back in three minutes. Okay, we're at the two two hour mark. The voltage is still going up. On some of the other cells we would have hit five volts by now, but this is close it could take some more charge. Um so I'll reset the timer. It's just under two hours, but it's close enough really. So now, um, I'll disconnect the charge, we'll let it sit for a little bit. We should maybe see a higher short circuit amperage perhaps, if anything. So we'll try that, doing a short circuit, set on 10 milliamp range, 250 milliamps, I was holding there for a little bit, that dropped the voltage down a bit. So, it was around about 270 something last time, so I'm not sure, maybe we are getting plate damage. So for a little test, of the, oh, I'll switch this over to the 200 milliamp range. Connecting the load, now. That's the right lead still. Well, it does sound like it's got more power, but... It may not run for longer than a half hour because it might be delivering more power with its voltage. But it's looking good. Coming up to one minute, and we're still at 80 milliamps. The cell wasn't bubbling for a, a, for too much, considering it had an hour, two hours, I mean, on five volts. I've seen the other cells bubble a lot more for less. Having the lid on, the liquid doesn't seem to evaporate overnight as much as it was with the lid off. So it's still going, but it's too oh, I'm way too early to tell. I'm gonna keep giving it charges and discharges and see what happens we're at two minutes and one volt
Okay, I'll um, pause the video there and let it do its thing and I'll get back when it's uh, discharged. We're at 2 minutes 50 and it just dropped under that 1 volt. Alright, I'll see you soon. Dropped just under its um, voltage from the last time. It was 0 0.22 volts when I cut the experiment at half hour, but we made it to 46 minutes, 47 minutes, 4 an hour, so not much for an extra hour charge. So, 2 hours maybe overcharge for a cell this size. But I'll just, um, I'll keep charging and discharging it. I'll give it a rest for an hour and I'll commence some more charging and discharging. That will be it for this video. Um, I'll see you on the next update. Thanks for watching.